All right, next we're going to work on the fence. And it might be a good idea to take a look at the reference photo first. Okay. All right, so um, to get to work on the fence, we're going to use this round brush. So it's round at the top. And what we'll need is, I already put the white out, we'll need some ultramarine blue. We'll need a little blue and we'll need some crimson, the red, and some cad red. Okay, and then we're going to mix them all together. Um, an old fence, so we're not going to be working on perfection. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of paint on this brush. Yeah, I got this is the brush I was using. I didn't want to use this brush, so I'm going to, you know, if if I confused you, I am apologizing right now. But so you just rinse it off. We had all that paint on there. I took some of it off with my fingers. So um, you probably want to get your brush wet a little bit and get it nice, nice and shaped round at the end. But this is the brush I want to use. It's just one of the brushes that I like. So I'm shaping mine to be round. Okay. So then we're going to come over here and start working on some fence posts. We're going to make vertical lines and they don't have to be exact. And so far you can see how I paint and I am not particular about being a perfectionist so okay. I'm going I'm going to place this fence a little bit along the dune with this this fence with my round brush and I'm not really liking it because it seems really purple but we'll change that I'm adding white straight onto the, the canvas. Okay, let's add some life to this painting. So far we got the fence and a little bit of the dunes. We're going to work on the dunes right now. Um, and the sky. So let's put some life in the painting. Ready? Here we go. To make the grass, we're going to use our filbert or our fan brush or both today. Just a moment and I'll get our paints ready. On your palette, put a little cad red ultramarine blue and cat. Okay, with our filbert, let's add a little bit of um, darkness. We'll go back and add some darkness to the dune here. And I'm using my filbert. And we'll start, just use the, um, the edge to make your grass strokes. Stro start from the top of the dune. With this wash, we're going to go ahead and um, just give it a little bit of movement. You might. You have to um, do this maybe a few times so you kind of understand what's going on. But we're just giving it a little bit of movement. And um, I know that you, if you, if you, if art does one thing, it helps us see things. Because have you ever seen grass the same color? No. So we're going to add some more colors. Need to put, and I'm still using my filbert. 
I haven't got out the fan yet, but we might do that when uh, we start adding some colors. And I put some strokes over here, just like whatever feels good, do it. And I hate to say this, but you gotta, you know, at this point, we're gonna trust the process. Okay, I don't wanna overwork it, so here we're gonna stop right there. So we know that um, yellow and blue make green, and we're gonna change up the color of green a little bit with the amount of red we add to it. If you have a fan brush, that's great. If not, just continue using your filbert. That's it's going to be fine. So we'll add some uh, more colors, and we're just using light strokes. Add some color to it. I have this green here. I'm working with. If you want it to be a little bit darker, you can add uh, red. I am working with my fan brush, so it's generally it's good to put a lot of paint on your brush, but at this point we're working with detail. You may want to go a little bit easy. And as you go along, you're going to develop your own technique. And I'm just about running out of paint here. I'm going to have to redo my Okay, palette. let's finish this baby up. Let's see what brush I want to use. We have a little bit of um, a, f a few things that I'd, I'd like to... Uh, let me get that phone. I'm sorry. Um, there's a few things that I'm not happy with right now. Um, and we're going to add that. I'd like to see the um, water come down a little bit, maybe a little bit of the waves here. And let's just assume it's noon or one o'clock and the sun is coming down directly. So um, we need to ground this fence. All right, so we're gonna finish this up. The filbert, my, I, I have a large one. It doesn't matter if yours isn't this large. A line brush and a round. Okay, I think, let's start here, the furthest away, um, let's see, I'd like to see those waves have a little bit of action. Okay. And you know what? Don't be so hard on yourself because look, just think about what we've done. Really, um, this is for me, I don't know about you, but for me, I've only invested about an hour. And what are we using? We're just using um, basically three primary colors and we've done some mixing. And uh, Let's see. Let's take care of the um, the fence so it doesn't. It, it's not. <laughs> it's in midair right now, but we're going to take care of that. So, anyway, what I was saying, we just we've been uh, we've been only working with a few colors, and look what we did. And we don't want to mess with it too much since we're working with sand. Sometimes sand has like pink highlights in it. And right now I'm using my round brush. You know what? Um, the white, what we're doing with the white right now, we're just kind of little adding a little bit of highlights. So. We'll add some highlight in there where, you know, we're talking about some sand. 
sand in here. Okay. Let me get my um, line brush. Earlier we were doing um, some work with some greens to make the grass. And you can do, you know, however you want to do this. And I'm just really, I'm giving you some ideas. And you just go with it, okay? So, um, I'm just putting a little bit of highlight here and there. Just so it doesn't look too repetitious. So we're going to add some different colors here and there. A lot of the action is happening on this side of the canvas, but we don't need to waste too much time over there. Let's go over on this side. And we put some of that sand, we'll go over top of it a little bit. All the different colors on my little um, line brush. So we don't want it to all be one color. I'm just picking up all kinds of colors on my palette. And if you ever looked at a Renoir and oh my gosh, I'm not doing um, Claude Monet any favor right now. But um, if you ever look really close, it's like amazing all the different colors he has. He uses on his palette. Genius. So, um, we're going to just finish this up. And I wish I had some brown right now on my palette, but I don't. Because I'd like to add a little bit of brown to that fence, I think. Let me go back over to my um, my favorite brush, the Filbert. And again, if yours is smaller, no problem. Basically, um, at, the, at the end here, you can kind of just do it, whatever feels right. I want the water to come down a little bit. And you know that the, um, I don't know. I, I shouldn't assume everybody is near the water like I am. But when the water does come up, it's not one straight line. And it's not one color. This is really actually California, this picture. But for my sake, I'm just going to pretend it's right here in St. Petersburg. Okay, now we're going to add some uh, golden rods that are coming out of these dunes. Let me show you the reference picture. So the see the um, golden rods on both sides. We're going to do that. Finish it up. Okay. So what we'll do is um, we're adding some golden rods over here, and I'm using a flat brush. Put some birds up there. I'm working up. Let's say start down, and we cut some sand here earlier. They don't all have to be the same color. Let me see. Okay.
so we're going to finish this up just keep putting a couple more um, golden rods on there if you'd like I put the birds in the background just in case they interfere with the golden rods they can they can go over there so is it starting to feel like it's it's done to me there's a little bit of work we can do to it highlight it and accent here details there I'm, I'm feeling like it's finished we don't want to mess with it too much but um, feel free to go back and finish it yourself to um, tell you that you know you should really be proud because we used only only used white and three primary colors and basically four brushes so not bad voila well thank you for joining me in part two of our cityscape demonstration and I want to thank you for coming today and watching and, and I hope that you <laughs> Participated and you're happy with your uh, completed painting, you can find us on suncoastartacademy.com.